Hey guys, hope you're having all a great day. So here we have got the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2060 Ti. This is the version 3. It has uh, the, it's the LHR version, so the LAT hash rate. Um, so here we're gonna take a look at uh, Ethereum hashing uh, with this card. Uh, I know uh, usually uh, light hash rate cards affect Ethereum, but however, we're gonna check this with the newest revision of the NB miner ver version 39.1. Uh, this miner is able to unlock uh, the limitation of the 50% uh, hashing power so and now we're gonna go up to 70% and this uh, model has uh, you know you don't have to do anything we just start up your mining you create your script and you run it and it's supposed to uh, unlock the card 70% uh, so I know it's more profitable to go with the Raven uh, with this and uh, if you look at uh, on what to mine uh, 360 Ti can get around close to uh, 60 mega hash. However, uh, the light hash rate version of this is getting around 30 mega hash. Um, so we're gonna try to see how much we can push this card with the with the version of admin miner and the overclock settings, and uh, see how well it performs. Looking at the overclocks, uh, they were on mining chamber. These guys have a great reference for overclocking cards. Uh, we see here we're gonna put 60% power limit, core clock minus 200, the memory clock plus uh, 1,200. Um, so this the website I'm using here. So I'm interested to mine ADA because ADA is now very hot. Upgrade coming in 12th of September. Uh, plus they're gonna launch two on a new exchange in two days. So uh, this is the card that I'm mining on. And as you can see here, I have the 360 Ti. I'm getting 42 mega hash and what I mean, well does basically, if you don't know it, they usually um, they, they usually mine Bitcoin and then they pay you. Um, so you're mining Ethereum, however, you're getting that paid in Bitcoin and after they convert the Bitcoin to ADA. And I'm ha I'm getting here to, to 42 uh, mega hash on this. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys what I did. Basically, I went, if you go to the support aspect uh, of here, here that if you go to ETH hash, you can see getting started with uh, MB miner. And then what I'm using MB miner over Phoenix miner is that these guys are only able to unlock the uh, the limiter. And you just have to read this bat file. You can copy paste it. Uh, this you can copy paste this in a text file. So if you put here, you don't have to put the LHR settings. This guy optimized it. You have to put here your coin, your address, and your worker name. And then after you just save this as a bat, as a all files dot, dot bat extension. And after that, you just open the folder here to mine ADA. And uh, let me show you. Let me show you this from again. So I'm gonna here go back and uh, reset everything. So if I go and open ADA here, as you can see. I don't have even to put any kind of settings. It took it by uh, by default. I guess the latest revision of the so of the of this uh, software can detect that you have an LHR card, and based and this way it will unlock 69% of the hashing power automatically, as you can see here. And uh, yeah, it's so super easy to set up. You get get this running. Uh, then which is what I do after if I go and open Afterburner. And here I overclock with using the settings I showed you here. And uh, yeah, there's nothing else to do. When this is uh, running, you just leave leave it here. And we should be able to get 42 uh, mega hash. The uh, default hash rate for this is 30 mega hash. So let's say you don't overclock using the LHR card with the default settings. However, with the overclock and the unlock of the limiter by NB miner, we are going to get up to 42. And you know, it's better than nothing, it's not perfect. I agree that uh, if you have a non LHR version, it's, it's way better. Uh, but uh, you know, for those uh, who were not able to get a uh, non LHR version, having this with 41 hash rate is pretty good considering that you're gonna have your only taking out 143 watt of power and your so you have a high efficiency and uh, it's much better than 30 watt and you can see here it's 24 now it's 37 and it will get to the uh, 42 and the good thing here is that uh, you will get paid directly in ADA 
so uh, that's the fun thing uh, about it you won't have to uh, do anything and uh, you don't you don't have to buy bitcoin convert it and everything so you get paid in ada and uh, yeah that's about it and if you have a reference code you can get 25 0.25% uh, off uh, your mining fee if i share you here i can uh, give you my reference code you're welcome to use it uh, i'll put it in the description of the video if you use it um, I'll get a little share, a mini share of the profit, and you'll get 0.25 of 25% uh, of your mining. And uh, this way you get paid. You can see here I get I got paid eight ADA. And who knows? Like if ADA goes to ten dollars by the end of year, this is what prediction says. Uh, you're making a buck with your Latra mining card, and it's better than uh, it's much more power efficient than the Raven. Although you can make more money with Raven. However, I like to get uh, to keep my cards. Uh, you know g super efficient because i have a lot of cards too so it's just not one card so that's it folks i hope you liked the video and please uh, leave a comment section and subscribe if you haven't thank you